Welcome back guys to B&B Outdoors. Got our first fish on my grandparents' pier out here on Lake X. So this is, I think, my first video out here. And uh, loaded with panfish, loaded with bass. Gonna be a great morning. So let's get to it. All right guys, today using this little fly jig for normally crappies, but I just got a gill on it. Let's see if we can pull one off for the viewers right now. So I'm walking the end of the pier. I'll be very quiet. guys we got the third fish of the day and uh, we haven't been able to get that much size out of them this one's probably two inches three but I switched again to a jig head with a night crawler and then that's just on a spring bobber and I'll come over here and show you what I'm doing Right after I get this release on this fish. So you just gotta take the hook, we'll get around a little, and give it a nice little pull. So that is number three of the day. Sick. All right. So here's what I'm doing. Come over here with the rod. Gotta get a tangle out. Kinda hard one handed. But come over here. Got the bobber. And there's just this police boat. And uh you can't see the fish. Most likely not, but I don't think you can. So just drop it in like that and if you guys can see that bobber already getting some action all right there's oh missed him let's try again there we go and that is the second hook set on b, &B Outdoors. Pretty proud of that. Did it one-handed. And that is our biggest gill of the day, coming in at five inches. So that's great. So I'm gonna get him off the hook, and then hopefully catch another fish. Okay guys, here's another tip for targeting these late spring early summer panfish put a lot of meat on that hook because those panfish just got done with spawn they're hungry or they're in spawn but early spawns over so you got a lot of meat on that hook give them a nice meal to fight over and then like I did again I'll just toss it over there right there and then a couple gills are coming in right now just give it a little movement make those gills believe that it's running away from them oof okay just missed one. Oh man, <laughs> I gotta figure out how to 
do this solo cameraman thing. Ooh! Whoa! Big rock bass, guys. I'm pretty sure it's a rock bass. It might be a crappie. Nope, it's a rock bass. These are also in the pier, and they are aggressive little buggers. But this one, probably around 8 inches. I don't keep rock bass because they're kind of a dirty fish, but we can get the tape off for this one. Getting a lot of hook sets on camera. If you guys like that, leave a like on the video. Oof. Into the weeds. Okay. Hopefully we can get them on this tape. Set the camera up right there. Let's get them on a little tape measure action here. Yeah, eight inches, just like I said. Pretty good at guessing these sizes of fish once they're caught. In the water, they look a lot bigger. But this bugger was hooked real good. And the thing about these rock bass, their mouths are like sandpaper. But this be a sick release. Majestically slow. And there he is. He just sits there like that never even happened. Check my hand a little. Back to the pier he goes. So yeah. That was a great catch. Told you guys I don't pull off a bass, but it counts in my book. So, seeing some little largies, haven't really been after them. They're only about five inches. But, <laughs> bug in my mouth. Okay. But there's gills just sitting right here by the back of the boat waiting for their meal. Got them dialed in, and let's catch some more. All right, guys, within minutes later, got another gill. These gills are the only thing that I'm catching other than that rock bass. But, oh, there he goes. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of b, &B Outdoors. Subscribe, leave a like, comment if you like this stuff, comment what I should do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So, peace. Bye.